welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be going over the brand new eShop deals that you need to know about, as well as go over a bunch of the eShop deals that are slated to end on January 15th. When Crooks break into Dusty the Robot Vacuum Cleaner's home, he ends up saving the day by taking care of the bad guys. Unfortunately, this draws some unwanted attention, and somehow, he ends up in the TV dimension, and now he must use his abilities to hide, hack, and suck his way to escape. You think that sounds crazy? It gets even crazier. For example, to grow his powers, he's got to consume the blood of his enemies when you defeat them. Apparently, justice is bloodthirsty. This unique game was a hit during the Black Friday sale because of how bonkers the game was. And speaking of the Black Friday sale, it's back at its all-time low price of $9.99 it was during that sale. So if you missed it last time, then you got a second chance to pick this up. Rhythm Sprout is a rhythm action game that has you progressing and fighting in various stages to the beat of the music. It seems a bit weird at first, once you get a feel for the game, it ends up being a lot of fun with a lot of replayability options and modifiers to keep the party going. If you like rhythm games, then this one is worth checking out. It's on sale for a brand new low price of $8.99 until February 1st. Let's be honest, Tinykin totally has those Pikmin vibes going on, right? For example, you find yourself in a house where everything seems gigantic, kind of like Pikmin, and end up controlling and guiding a group of tiny creatures to help you with their abilities to create paths and solve puzzles, again, just like Pikmin. Now, what separates this from the Pikmin games is this is actually more of an action platformer than a strategy game. You need to jump and explore while interacting with the residents you find throughout the world while using the tiny can. The game is exceptionally well done. It's got a lot of solid reviews going for it. So if you're looking for something that's kind of like Pikmin, but different, well, check this one out. It's on sale for a brand new low price of $14.99 until February 1st. If you're curious about picking this one up, then make sure to check out the demo on the eShop. Demon Turf Neon Splash takes what made the first Demon Turf game awesome and just focuses on that. That being the fantastic platforming. While it's a smaller experience, the 10 levels are all fun and a blast to play through. And if you're good, you'll discover the 10 remix versions of the levels for a harder challenge. It's on sale for $3.49, a good price for some quick platforming fun. Oh, and you don't need to have played the first Demon Turf game to enjoy this one. So no worries, you can hop right into this one if you wish. Streets of Rogue is a rogue light where you're truly given freedom in terms of how to complete missions. You can choose to be stealthy, or blast your way through, or use the environment around you to achieve your goals, or enlist others in your mayhem. It's a game all about experimentation, and when you start to take that to heart, that's when the real fun begins. This rogue light can be enjoyed through solo play, but it can also be played through multiplayer, through both local and online play, up to four players. It's on sale for $4.99 until February 1st. While a lot of sim games have you managing stuff like farms and businesses, Graveyard Keeper is different. You gotta manage a graveyard. You got to acquire those resources, plan and dig those plots, and this is totally inaccurate. Their words, not mine, medieval cemetery sim. It's kind of like Stardew Valley, just dark. For those who want in on the cemetery fun, it's on sale for a brand new low price of $4.99. The collector's edition, for just 5 bucks more, includes all the DLC that was ever released for the game. Rava and the Psychops Curse is an 8-bit style action platformer that has you playing through 10 stages in a quest to save Rava's mother as well as her homeland. Now what spices things up from other typical action platformers is that there's a bit of puzzle gameplay to the mix. Rava has different elemental companions that she must use to not only defeat her enemies, but also to clear obstacles and clear paths for progress. You can't just blast your way through this one to reach the end, you gotta use your brain a bit with this one, and I appreciate it for that. It's on sale for just $1.99 until January 26th. Ghost Blade HD is a bullet hell shooter 
and echoes the style of the early 2000s era of bullet hell games. Now, while it's a nice arcade-style game, what helps it stand out from most is that it offers a local two-player mode, so you and your friend can work together to take on the chaos. There's five stages to blast through, three difficulty levels to choose from, in addition to three different ships to pilot, each with their own set of weapon types. It's not the most complex shooter on Switch, but it's a solid get at $4.49. Bandai Namco has been killing it lately with their $5 and under deals, and this week they brought back three additional deals in that category. Mr. Driller Drill Land on Switch is actually a HD remaster of the GameCube game that was really popular in Japan, but for some reason we didn't get it in the West back in the day. In addition to the fun single player modes, this game features additional competition modes for up to four player play that can be enjoyed on one console or through online play. In addition to all that, there's a casual mode for those who want to enjoy the game at a more casual pace. It's $4.79 until January 22nd, and for those who are curious about it, there is a demo in the eShop to try out that gives you a taste of the game. Namco Museum Archives Volume 1 is always a solid pickup at $4.99 when it goes on sale. This includes 10 classic NES and Famicom Namco games, plus a brand new game. This collection has an 8-bit demastered version of Pac-Man Championship Edition, and in addition to that, it has Galaxian, Pac-Man, Xevious, Mappy, Dig Dug, Tower of Duraga, Sky Kid, Dragon Buster, Dragon Spirit, The New Legend, and Splatterhouse Franpaku Graffiti. One Piece Unlimited World Red Deluxe Edition is the updated version of the action-adventure game with a higher resolution and improved visuals, frame rate, and even includes all the DLC stuff that was ever released for it. It's a fun game that allows you to play as members of the Straw Hat Pirates as you bash your way through enemies and bosses alike while also helping out the residents of a nearby village with their troubles. It's on sale for $4.79, a no-brainer of a price for any fan of One Piece. The action RPG Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is pretty good on Switch. It's a good port and allows you to relive a lot of the fun early adventures of Goku and his friends, as well as some of the newer adventures. The Switch version comes with a new Power Awakened set that adds two additional boss battles. This edition is back on sale at its all-time low price of $14.99, making it an easy recommend for any DBZ fan. Take note, there is a demo in the eShop to give you a feel for how the game is for those who are curious. While I think the special edition deal of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 was better, if you don't ever intend on getting the DLC, then you can get the base game for just $9.99 until January 22nd. On its own, it does have a lot of content, especially with all the free updates it's received over the last 7 years. The Bloodstained Curse of the Moon series has some huge Castlevania vibes. It's not surprising since Koji Igarashi and Symphony of the Night fame is involved with both games. These games are inspired by the NES entries, specifically the third game, and have some modern touches, including much more detailed style of sprites and effects, on top of having lots of replayability to find all the secrets within. The first one is on sale for just $4.99, while the second one is on sale for a brand new low price of $5.99. If you're a Vania fan, then you owe it to yourself to play these games. The Blaster Master series is also one I highly recommend. The blend of 2D action adventure exploration with top-down action segments makes for a sweet combo. The first one was a retelling of sorts of the very first Blaster Master game for the NES, and it got so popular it ended up spawning two sequels to form a trilogy. They are all good, but I do recommend to start from the first one and work your way through so you can appreciate the series as a whole, as well as the advancements across the three games. The first two games are on sale for $4.99, while the last one is on sale for $7.49. Beyond the Bloodstained and Blaster Master games, Indie Creates is also known for the Gunvote games, which are typically stylish action platformers that, let's be fair, have some definite inspiration and vibes from the old school Mega Man games 
and other action games from the 8-bit and 16-bit eras. Azure Striker Gunvote Striker Pack is an awesome entry point as it contains Azure Striker Gunvote Games 1 and 2 and can be had for $19.99. These games were previously on the 3DS, but the Switch versions have been upgraded to 60 FPS as well as now being in an HD resolution and it even includes all the DLC that was previously released for the games. They look good, they play well, and the bundle is the best way to enjoy these games. The third entry, Azure Striker Gunvote 3, is also on the Switch, and that can be had for $17.99, which is a brand new low price for it on the eShop. There's a demo for this one too, so check it out to get a feel for the game. The Gunvote Chronicles Luminous Adventure X Games are a spin-off series in the Gunvote universe, focusing on character Copen and their unique abilities and dash powers. The first game is on sale for $7.49, while the second one is on sale for $12.49. Finally, there's Mighty Gunvote Burst, another spin-off game featuring characters from the Gunvote series and Mighty No. 9. You can really see the Mega Man vibes in this one. This is on sale for just $2.99, which is a brand new low price for it on the eShop. There's a demo on the eShop as well, in case you're interested. Celeste is a top tier, award winning platformer on the Switch, and I'm sure you've probably heard of it by now. If you consider yourself a major fan of platformers, and you haven't yet played this game, make sure to remedy that, and you can do that with a nice new sale, as it's on sale on the eShop for $5.99 until January 15th. Another solid vertical shoot 'em up is Soul Cresta from Platinum Games. It's pretty unique from other shoot 'em up games, as the game's main gimmick involves docking with other pilots in the game and using various ship formations to form different powerful attacks. Their dramatic edition is on sale for $22.49 and includes the new dramatic mode that has a different story from the arcade mode as well as the game's true ending. So yeah, don't skip out on that one and get the base version. Get the dramatic edition for the complete experience. While I was doing research for this video, I noticed a game that was on sale that I had no clue was actually on Switch. It is a sequel to some hidden gem games from the PS2 era. Gungrave Gore Ultimate Enhanced Edition is the heavily updated and modified version of the third Gungrave game that came out a couple years ago. Now this might be a deep cut, but I played the first two Gungrave games on the PS2 years ago. I actually still have them in my collection, and they were some of my favorite deep cut action games on that very system. And heck, it even spawned an anime. In each game, you control Beyond the Grave, yes that's actually the lead character's name, and you just kick tons of butt with guns and weapons and his big oversized coffin. It was great stuff, not too revolutionary, but it was a lot of fun. The third game is made by another company that were fans of those games, and at release, it had a lot of promise, but it was safe to say it had a ton of issues as well. Well, they took that feedback to heart and made over a hundred changes to the game and released it on the Switch of all platforms in a new Ultimate Enhanced Edition. I've been checking out gameplay, some reviews, as well as the list of changes and stuff, and you know what? I'm intrigued. It looks like a lot of fun now. It looks much better than the version that got released a couple years ago on other platforms. If you're a fan of the old PS2 games, then you might want to check this one out. It's got its first sale ever, knocking 25% off the MSRP price. And IS America has a big catalog sale going on right now, but for brevity's sakes, I'm just going to focus on the game collections and bundles they have on sale. The Pretty Presents and IS Classics bundles are on sale for $27.99 each. Each collection features two games, which are typically JRPGs of some sort. Volume 1 has Phantom Brave, the Hermuda Triangle Remastered, and Soul Nomad. Volume 2 has Makai Kingdom, Reclaimed and Rebound, as well as ZHP, Unlosing Ranger, and Dark Death Eva Man. Finally, Volume 3 has La Purcell, Ragnarok, as well as Rhapsody, a musical adventure. The Psycho Shooting Stars bundles feature a bunch of arcade shoot 'em up classics from the Psycho's back catalog. Both collections are on sale for $19.99 each. 
Alpha has Strikers 1945, as well as Strikers 1945 2 and 3, Soul Divide, Dragon Blaze, and Zero Gunner 2. Bravo Bundle has Samurai Aces Episode 1, 2, and 3, as well as Gun by Arc and Gunbird 1 and 2. The SNK 40th Anniversary Collection is one of my favorite collections on Switch. While most SNK collections focus on the Neo Geo era, this one focuses on the arcade and NES and Famicom games prior to the Neo Geo era. There's a lot of games here that haven't been released elsewhere, there's some nice modern features to enjoy them with. The collection is on sale for $19.99 until January 15th. Also, make sure to download the free DLC that adds Beast Busters and Search and Rescue, two really nice deep cut games from SNK. One more game from NIS America, and this one is a bit interesting. Poison Control has you teaming up with Poisonette to help her purify spirits trapped in poisonous manifestations of their despair. Oh, and apparently, you're her soulmate and she steals your body. Yeah, things get weird. It's part visual novel, part action shooter, part RPG, it's a little bit of everything in the gameplay department. Look, it's not the best game out there, but it is unique, and if you dig weird, unique Japanese games like myself, then you'll be interested in picking this up at the brand new low price of $3.99 on the eShop sale. From Taito and in -in Games, there's four sweet collections going for 70% off their MSRP prices. Darius Cosmic Collection Console includes nine versions of the Darius Console games from the 8-bit and 16-bit eras through nine versions across six titles. The collection is going for $17.99, a brand new low price via the sale. The Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade includes four titles in the arcade series, the original Darius, Darius 2, plus Sagaya, and Darius Gaiden across seven different versions. This collection is down to $13.49, a brand new low price for it on the eShop. It's worth it for Darius Gaiden alone. In addition, there's the Space Invaders Invincible Collection, which includes 11 arcade games in the Space Invaders series, all the way from the first game to stuff like Space Invaders Extreme and even Arkanoid vs. Space Invaders. This is on sale for $17.99. Then there's Ninja Jaja Maru, The Great Yokai Battle, plus Hell Deluxe Edition, which includes the new arcade style game, in addition to six classic games from the series in one package. This is going for $8.99, making it an excellent value. Finally, there's G Darius HD, which is a collection too, as it includes five different versions of the classic game. There's the original arcade version, plus the HD version of that, and the Rare version 2 update with the HD version of that one. Finally, it includes the home console port of the game that came out in the late 90s. This is on sale for $11.99, a sweet deal for shoot 'em up fans. Bubble Bobble for friends? The Baron is Back is the latest game in the Bubble Bobble series, and this updated version includes 100 new stages in addition to the existing stages, for a grand total of 200 to tackle. It's on sale for $15.99, back down to its original low price. And there you go, that's all the awesome eShop deals you need to know about. If you appreciate the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you like the content, consider becoming a subscriber if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss out on any future videos. That's all for me today, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next video.